In this video, we will create a new ModFlow model. Have the GMS software open. Right-click in the white space of the project area. We will create a new conceptual model. We will name this SK sample model. You can name your model anything. We will leave the defaults. To make a model boundary, we will use a shape file. Here, we'll drag a model domain shape into the GMS software. You only need the .shp file. Here we see the model domain as a shape file. The projection is a UTM zone in the northern hemisphere. Now will create a new coverage. Click on the conceptual model, right click for a new coverage, and we'll name this model domain. We don't worry about these, but we will have two layers, and we will use this shape file to define the model boundary. Now, we'll take the shape file and put it into the coverage. We'll right click on the model domain, convert to a feature object. Here, we have the shape file, and the model domain will take the information from the shape file. This is the information from the shape file. We don't touch these buttons. We will create new feature polygon, finish. Here we see that the information from the shape file has gone into the model domain coverage. Okay. Now we'll create a new grid frame for the model. Click in the white area. Click on the grid frame, select it so it's highlighted with squares, right-click, and fit to active coverage. Right-click again on the grid frame or click on it in the property tree. Here, we're going to round by 100s because we want 100 me meter cell size. 26,081 becomes 26,100. 30,351 becomes 30,400. If we wanted 10 meter squares, we would round by 10 increments of 10. Now, we'll right-click on the grid frame, and we'll map to the 3D grid. Here, we choose the cell size of 100. The number of cells we want on the z-dimension is 2, because we have two layers.
now we'll make a new ModFlow model. We're going to choose the Newton solver. And we don't worry about any of these other options for now. We have so many cells, we'll deactivate some. We'll go to Feature Objects and Activate Cells and Coverage. And this is the beginning of our ModFlow model.